talk today a little bit about uh, Pink Floyd finger picking tune and arpeggio. Is there anybody out there? It's a um, very simple right hand technique with your first three fingers, same as we'd use in uh, House of the Rising Sun, Stairway to Heaven, um, Time in a Bottle, where your, first, your three fingers are playing the top three strings, with your index finger playing the third string, your middle finger playing the second string, and your ring finger playing the first string, most of the time. There's a little exception to that in one little part of it. Um, and then your thumb is playing the bass notes, uh, which are on the fourth, fifth, and uh, in this particular case, uh, none on the sixth, but the fourth or fifth strings. So it starts off with an A minor chord, and all you have to do is hold the chord down there. That's a really important thing about arpeggios. You don't want the song to sound like this. That's not what an arpeggio is. So it, uh, you hold the A minor down, and you play them in this order. Thumb, index, middle, ring. Back to your middle, back to your index, then your thumb and your index again. So the whole pattern is thumb, index, middle, ring, middle, index, thumb, index. Then just the lowest note, which was an E on the fourth, fourth string at the second fret, moves up to F. Now we have to make a decision whether we want to play that with our fourth finger or our third. Now I'm going to go with the third. Then the fourth moves it up another half step to F sharp, and then back to the F. Now the biggest deal about this song is, or about the fingering choices here, are how to get every note to sound as clear as possible. The problem we're trying to avoid is if I play it with my third finger, if I play the F with my third finger, I have to play the same, I have to use the same finger twice in a row for consecutive notes. Not a good plan. That will sound like this. The very last note, that's getting too detailed for right now. Forget it. I'm not going there. Um, the second part is of the first line is just a descending bass line going from E to D to C to B to A, with each one of those followed by the other the three fingers. So we have followed by an open D reaching your little finger down to C in the bass at the 3rd fret of the 5th uh, string, your 2nd finger to B in the bass, and then a couple of different arpeggios on the A minor. The first one has two thumbs. The next one, a, a good way to do this, there's a few different ways it all work, but what I like to have people try to do is now switch these three fingers to the second set of strings. So, your index now goes to the fourth string, your middle to the third string, and your ring finger to the second string. And you play an arpeggio that goes like this. That was the same pattern. Thumb, index, middle, ring, middle, index, thumb, index. But with these three fingers on the second, third, and fourth strings instead of on the first, second, and third strings. Anyway, that's enough for is there anybody out there right now. I will address this, uh, have a longer lesson on this tune and a lot of other cool Pink Floyd songs at our site at totallyguitars.com. So come on over there and uh, check in with what we have. Uh, I've got forums running where I'd like you to put in uh, requests for songs you'd like to have me work on or put up videos for. A lot of free lessons there and, they're, uh, and there's a blog that we're keeping that uh, we invite everybody to check with. So come on over soon. Thanks.